convention this year. It's not the, it's not the governor's race or the, it, it, what'll be interesting about it is, you know, you'll see all the people that want to be governor there on the Democratic <laughs> side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Welcome to Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a good friend. I have Bill Hill from the Brockton Fire Department to ta tell us all about the St. Patrick's Day Public Safety Mass. Welcome, Bill. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. Um, this is a tradition in the City of Champions. Every year the uh, fire and police get together and do a mass. It's sometimes in a different location, but uh, this year it's at this year it's going to be uh, again at the uh, um, St. Patrick's Church on uh, Main Street right down by the Council on Aging across from the YMCA. Mm -hmm. um, this will be, I believe, our fourth year that we've had it there. One year we switched up and we did go back to uh, St. Edward's um, in the last four or five years. But we'll be at St. Patrick's again this year. And St. Patrick's is a beautiful church. It's all redone. It's kind of church in the round, if you will. Yes. Because yes. the way it's set up over there. Um, I've been at this a long time. I started out my cable career back yep. in the day. Um, it was at St. Patrick's, as yeah. a matter of fact. That's where it was. It was Ireland's own doing it. Then it was police doing it. Now it's fire doing it. But it's basically to appreciate all of your efforts in the fire department, all the public safety personnel all year round. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's something, it's been going on for a long time. Um, when I got involved, um, the Brockton Police Relief Association was um, spearheading it. Uh, and a few years ago, uh, it changed up, and, and now the Brockton Firefighters Relief Association this year will be spearheading it, um, in which, in, but we're still all involved. Uh, both police and fire will be there, as well as the uh, Plymouth County Sheriffs uh, are also uh, be attending That's this right, year. That's right, I remember Sheriff Mc, Mc, Mc Donald. I always get him confused because there was a McDonough yeah. before him, so we'll say the right guy's name. I believe so, yeah. But um, this was a favorite of the late Senator Tom Kennedy, and I understand you're honoring him as a tribute? Yes. Um, the, we spoke to the family, and uh, they graciously allowed us to, um, you know, put, you know, to honor uh, the former Senator Kennedy uh, for this mass. We, in the past, uh, since I got involved a few years back, I worked with Senator Kennedy on uh, on the mass, and I know without his efforts, um, we wouldn't the mass wouldn't have been still going on like it is. Mm -hmm. um, he was a um, a big proponent of it, and uh, he looked forward to it every year. And he was um, it was one of his uh, I don't know how to say it, but he was going to have it, you know, come no matter what. He was going to can't say mass. what you're going to yeah. say. I know what you're thinking, so, but he also also brought in the little the four-leaf clovers and gave them to everybody that he was did. there. I wonder, is that going to like do, automatically trickle down to maybe yeah, Jerry Cassidy? Yes, uh, yeah, Jerry Cassidy is going to okay. be doing the uh, the uh, shamrocks this year, which, um, they, you know, you got to say shamrocks. If you say clovers, right. you know, Tommy would, you know, okay. you can see the steam coming out of his ears. Okay, I don't want to get so. in trouble. I have no <laughs> lightning bolts or anything like that. Um, you have the traditional, the police and fire honor guards. Yeah, both uh, police, um, police and um Brockton Fire Honor Guard will be there, uh, as well as the Honor Guard from the Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be attending. Uh, we'll also have the uh, Brockton Firefighters Pipes and Drums, as we have in years past. And we'll also be having the uh, Costello Irish School of Dance. Uh, they'll be coming in. Uh, at the beginning of the Mass, they usually do a couple numbers. And then uh, this year, we're actually going to go back to being able to offer the dinner uh, down in the basement mm -hmm. in the uh, in Father Kenny Hall in the basement of uh, St. Patrick's this year, so uh, we are, we do have tickets available for that. The uh, they're going to be ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Where the, they'll be available up at um, the chief's office, uh, five sixty West Street, which is right next to the high school. Right next, yeah, right next to the high school. Uh, Monday through Friday, regular business hours. Um, if anybody would like to purchase tickets um, ahead of time, they're ten dollars. And uh, we're going to do the traditional corned beef and uh, cabbage uh, meal. So, um, you know, hopefully a lot of people will want to come out and get their corned beef and cabbage after the, uh, after the mass on Saturday. Now, I understand um, the officiant, did I say it right? Yeah. Is yeah. someone that everybody knows. Yes. Uh, fortunately, Father Flavin uh, will be coming back this year to, uh, 
to say the mass. Um, he's, all, he's been a very busy person, obviously, and uh, we were lucky enough uh, in his schedule this year, he was able to, uh, to be able to come back and, and say the mass for us. So he'll be celebrating the mass uh, as, long, as well as um, we were also inviting uh, the rest of the clergy um, in the Brockton area to come down as well. So, uh, but, but Father Flavin will be here, so hopefully, uh, I know a lot of people like to, to catch up with Father Flavin um, with, you know, with his busy schedule. He doesn't make it back to Brockton as often as everybody would like, so, so he'll be here on Saturday, uh, March 12th. So the time, it starts at 11, oh. right? And by then we should be done with any of the winter weather. It's pretty close to spring. I hope so. I hope so. Hopefully the snow will be gone. If not, we'll make it gone. So there'll be plenty of um, parking around the, uh, the church. I know sometimes that's an issue, um, but fortunately for us, um, we're going to have the, uh, the funeral home next doors off of their parking lot as well. And, um, and Council the, on Aging. And the Council on Aging. So, uh, so we'll have enough parking, we believe, down there. So... Um, and then hopefully with no snow, we'll even, it'll be even better, so. Well, it's, it's a tradition. It's been going on for years. You can't, can't have the season without it. It's kind of uh, um, it, it ain't a lot to do with public safety within a couple of days. This, it is. This will be the second event. Uh, there'll be another event, and I'll have another guest on the show yes. to talk about that in, 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 in a little bit. Um, a lot of people involved in, in planning this? Um, so it was myself, uh, Mike King, who worked for uh, Senator Kennedy, um, is involved, and uh, Peter Reardon, who's the, um, he's, the uh, he's in the pipes and drums. He's also the president of the Brockton Firefighters Relief Association. Okay. So, um, and actually, um, Peter's cousin, uh, Tim, is going to be the cook for helping spearhead the cooking for the uh, corned beef and cabbage. So, um, so together we kind of got this thing off the ground again. Um, and hopefully, now that this year we'll be able to offer the, uh, the dinner, that'll be, you know, a staple every year. So we'll have the mass and the dinner following. Um, and even at the dinner afterwards, uh, we'll have traditional Irish music uh, downstairs. Uh, we'll have the step dances downstairs as well. Um, and, uh, and hopefully, you know, everybody can come out and enjoy the day. So what's your favorite part? Uh, the favorite part's when it's over. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, so... Uh, the whole thing. It's a, it's a great day, um, you know, having people come back and, you know, see each other after you. Because some of the people I don't see, you know, this is the only time every year that I get to see them. Um, I know as far as you know, the, the choir, we have Jack Colombo. He's mm -hmm. going to be coming to do the choir. He did it last year. He did a great job. Um, and then we have um, Peter Redden, who uh, sings a, a few of the, uh, the Irish uh, tunes as well. Um, he'll be coming back again. So it's good to see some people you haven't got to see them, you know, over mm -hmm. the years. So uh, I think that's probably the best part. Is, Knights uh, of Columbus too. The, the Knights, thank you for the Knights of Columbus will also be attending. Okay. Um, and they're definitely um, they were they were I think they were the first ones on board. So uh, definitely they all so, have uh, the, 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 yeah. the pageantry and I know yeah. Skip's in there and a few yeah. other people yep. I know. And they were so. they were more than happy uh, to come back and especially where it was uh, we were honoring uh, Senator Kennedy. They were more than happy to, to make themselves available. Well, we want you to go. We will be covering it. Won't be live, so you gotta go and be there in person. Yep. But it'll be on TV because there are some seniors and folks that are housebound. Last year I had about 10 conversations with Senator Kennedy about making <laughs> sure it was just perfect. And I yep. said, would I ever let you down? Exactly. No way. Exactly, no, so. you're always there for us. We appreciate that. We appreciate you getting this out to everybody. Glad to. Thanks, thanks for being on. All right, thanks for having us. Appreciate um, it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Make sure you attend the St. Patrick's Day Public Safety Mass, Saturday, March 12th, St. Patrick's Church, 335 Main Street, 11 a.m. Um, you'll have all the traditional, um, there'll be a mass and uh, all sorts of music, Irish step dancers, and most of all food. So make sure you go out. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.